Hey guys, it's Dr. Drew here. Wanted to give you some quick information about the Capsum Business Simulation and getting everybody started and getting everybody situated within the classroom. First of all, I want to let you know, uh, first and foremost, that I was not the one that developed this class. This class was developed by somebody else. As I implemented the class, <clears throat> as I typically do, I make some changes here and there. Um, one of the things that I did not see coming into this, um, I teach this class a lot online, uh, on ground, excuse me, not necessarily online. Um, and that's because I've been involved with Webster for about 15 years now. And a lot of what I've done is both uh, is on ground and a little bit of hybrid or the old WebNet technology. But that aside, there's a couple of things. And more importantly, when we go through the simulation, we're live, we're doing it in the classroom or we're doing it through zoom so this is one of those times there's a lot of content here because of the simulation and because of some of the things in canvas with that in mind the whoever developed this previously they put a couple of quizzes together and that was to really give you an essence of how the simulation is supposed to work and most importantly get you acclimated to this simulation so that once you go into the practice rounds and ultimately the competition round things will become a little bit smoother with that said, here's what I'm planning on doing in this course. I'm just going to give you a passing grade for the two quizzes and the tutorials that are set up for the simulation. I'm understanding that some of the questions are not aligned the right way. There are some answers that have not been present when you're clicking through the answers. So I just want to make it a lot easier. And so from that perspective, what I'm going to do is just give you a grade. <clears throat> You'll be able to go on from there. Now, as far as the simulation is concerned, simply because there was a little bit of setup issues, I wanna go over that one more time. I personally pre-registered everyone for this class. The way that now you would access the Capsum simulation is you'll go to capsum.com, there'll be a login. You'll use your Webster University ID, which is your Webster email. And then if you haven't already done that, the password is CAPSIM, C-A-P-S-I-M, one, two, three. Use that login if you want to change your password. Once you're then in there, <clears throat> your role is to go through the tutorials and get acclimated to the program. If you are uncomfortable with that, then I suggest you use the tutorials or call the help desk. There's just so much um, that I can provide for you. And all, every operating system is different. And the only thing I can say is typically uh, Chrome is a lot better than Safari or um, now Bing or any other browser that's out there. Mozilla, Firefox, Chrome seem to be the best browsers for this. Although I have a Mac, I tend to use Safari by default and it seems to be working pretty fine. <clears throat> now, outside of the tutorials and outside of the quizzes and the setup, here is the way that the simulation is supposed to work. Number one, you're all put in teams. That was pre-established, as I said, when you enrolled in this course. So from that perspective, I know one thing to be brutally cl clear right now. Number one, some folks have waited until the last minute to log in. This class is open seven days a week, 24 hours a day, but that doesn't preclude the fact that you should be doing work throughout the week. So you as a group should be meeting, as I mentioned in the other video, throughout the week to provide results to the simulation. One person should upload that because the computer uses a first in, first out. So if John goes in and makes some changes on Thursday, Beverly comes back in on Sunday, the computer only remembers Beverly's responses not John's. So make sure you're all meeting during the week. Use Teams, use Zoom, use a conference call, meet directly, whatever is going to be easiest. I get it. This is an online class, but there is that portion of it. Your first practice round, and there will be three practice rounds, and practice rounds are nothing more than getting you acclimated to working as a team and working through the simulation. The very first practice round ends this coming Sunday at 11.59 p.m., June the uh, 12th. So from that particular perspective, you're to work as a team, get the results that are necessary. Somebody's going to upload that preferably before 11.59 on the 12th, because at 12.01, the second practice round begins at, on the 13th. And so you will have three very particular practice rounds. 
What I'm then going to do is once I get the results on the 13th, when I log in, I will then produce a video, go through the brief, debrief on that and let you know all of the content that's available for you, what was right, what was wrong, what changes you could make. What I'm then going to do is then reset the clock after the third practice round, because that's where the competition rounds will begin. So you'll have three practice rounds, you'll have four competition rounds. The competition basically is the exact same thing as the practice rounds. It's just taking you through it in a more competitive role. And hopefully you'll be able to make the adjustments from the practice, bring them to the competition. The ideology here is to take those companies of Abel and Baldwin and Digby or Andrews, Baldwin, Digby and the remainder and take that $100 million and grow it. That's the whole ideology, but you're the work as a team on the quantitative side and make the right qualified decisions to do that. In addition to the simulation, you still have assignments that are uh, have a due date in Canvas. All of those dates have been checked, rechecked and triple checked. And those still, those are dates that are individual assignments. They are not team-based assignments. So whatever you're doing in, in simulation is team, whatever you're doing in Canvas is individual. I hope that helps. If there's any questions that you have, feel free to email me and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Have a great rest of the day.